hands can do a lot, and we use them every day. But did you know hands, even your hands, can help save a life? CPR? I'll go get help. Someone's collapsed. We need help. Is anyone CPR certified? I know hands only CPR. Come with me. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay? He's not responding. You call 911. You guys go find an AED. Will you help me lift his shirt up? I'll start chest compressions. Can you help me out? I'm getting a little tired. I can help, but I don't know what to do. It's okay, I can walk you through it. Put your hands like this and push right here. Okay. But how fast should I push? A hundred beats per minute, like the song Staying Alive. Okay, but how deep should I push? Two inches. You might need to push pretty hard. Okay. Keep compressing as I apply these. Okay, clear away. If you see someone collapse in front of you, or if you find someone down and not responding, what do you do? If you've been certified in CPR, then start CPR as you've been trained. He collapsed and we started chest compressions and applied an AED. Oh, thanks for all your help. Hands-only CPR is easy to remember and it can help save someone's life. Stay calm. There are just three simple steps that you can do to help. Check, call, compress. Now, let's go through it step by step. If you're not certified in CPR, or if you don't remember what to do, and the victim is more than 12 years old or is not drowning, you can help them by performing hands-only CPR. Place the heel of one of your hands in the center of the victim's chest, in between the nipples. Using your hand, interlock your fingers and keep your knuckles and fingers up out of the way. Try it yourself. Position yourself with your shoulders straight above your hands. Keep your elbows completely straight. And using the weight of your body, press down hard about two inches. You have to press down really hard to get two inches, so don't worry about pushing too deep. In fact, sometimes you may even hear a rib crack. This is normal, so don't worry. After each push, make sure you draw your hands back to allow the chest to return to its normal position. Push at the rate of 100 beats per minute, which is the beat of the song, Staying Alive. If you get tired, switch with someone. Be sure to make the switch as quick as possible. You want to keep the chest compressions continuous for as long as possible until help arrives. When someone arrives with the AED, remove the AED from the bag. Press the on button. The AED will talk to you and guide you through the process. Place the pads on the victim's chest as is shown on the pad wrapper. Note that you must take off the victim's shirt in order to have full skin contact with the pads. Then follow the instructions given to you by the AED. Try to keep doing hands-only CPR continuously during this time. Note that if the AED says, shock advised, please stand clear and do not touch the victim, then absolutely do not touch the victim during the shock process. The AED will not shock a person unless an abnormal heart rhythm caused their heart to stop. You cannot shock someone unless they truly need it. Anyone can do chest compressions and anyone can use an AED. You don't need to be certified. 
All you need to do is check, call, compress. Remember, lend your hands, save a life. This message was brought to you by CCARES, the Chicago Cardiac Arrest Resuscitation Education Service, and the Feinberg School of Medicine at Northwestern University. Lend your hands. Save a life.